If you guys don't know what these are, they're called capybaras. They look like this. They're my favorite animal of all time. If there is a god, he was fucking trolling. He said, I'm gonna make this and no one's gonna stop me. And he made this abomination, but he made it kind of cute. So I absolutely love it. This is my favorite animal of all time. Aww. So you wanna learn how to draw some cute capybaras. Why? So if you haven't seen these animals yet, they've actually been kind of exploding in popularity on social media recently with like memes, art, and like, I guess just like cute pictures in general. I thought, you know what, fuck it. I wanna throw my hat into the ring here. In all honesty, the popularity thing is just a convenient excuse because I really like this animal. This is objectively the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. Why does it look like this? Also, just to be clear, this video is for entertainment purposes. It's not really educational. Don't get mad at me. this channel. When sketching these coconut dogs, just keep two things in mind. They're basically just giant beans with flat faces. Just have fun, lay out some fun shapes, do what you want to do, and don't overthink it too much. But now that that's all done, now it's time to begin my favorite part of the process. <laughs> I think it's time to blow this thing, get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. A lot of things about capybaras. I like their size. I like how affectionate they are. I like how smart they are. Why is he looking at me like that? What's up, little bud? You got a staring problem, pal? Like what, dude? He's just looking at you. He's a baby. He's just Look at his face. You. Dumb little face. Stop. Yo, Zan, get your boy, dog. Hey, oh, hey. Hey. All right, so uh, here's the finished piece. Because of how we drew these capybaras, we actually learned a lot about their anatomy and their structure. And I actually even did a little bit of researching while drawing them. So uh, I thought maybe I should take the information that I learned and transfer it to something that was cooler and did like a cooler art piece with them. But then I thought, why the fuck would I do that? I did what any other normal artist would do. Neglected everything I just learned and drew whatever the fuck I wanted to draw. Guys, you probably saw this already. If you follow me on Twitter, you've seen it already. But uh, I thought this was so fucking cool when I drew this, okay? You've all seen this. Nobody gives a fuck about this. I drew this. I was so excited about it. This shit was so cool to me. I blew my mind. I'm like, damn, how could I create such a fucking masterpiece? What animal is that? <laughs> okay, you, know, you don't know what animal this is? <laughs> Looks like a horse and a dog gone wrong. Exactly. It's fucking hilarious. Have you guys followed along? Um... I say follow it along, but I mean, if we're going to be honest with ourselves here, there's no following along with this shit. But if you guys drew capybaras, I'd love to see them tweeted at me on Twitter. Also, stay tuned. We're going to have some uh, new merchandise coming out to my Patreon and Etsy shop. It's going to be about capybaras and axolotls actually from the last episode. So uh, stay tuned for that. But without further ado, stay happy, stay healthy, stay hydrated, stay warm and stay well. But most importantly, stay cool. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Sit up high in the sky watching the